Hello everyone, today in this video we will be discussing the module 2 super important question of SADP which is regarding the three subcategories of questions. It has something to do with the library as well as registering new user and having to design a new test case. Okay, so let's have a look at that. Make sure the like button, subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and without wasting any more time, let's get started. So in this uh, topic, we'll be first uh, discussing what is the um, use case analysis so in the use case analysis what do we actually do we analyze something and we'll be finding out its use case and then we'll be considering the use case for a library then we'll also see how to register a user what are the key steps you need to follow so let's get uh, started with each one uh, one by one the first one is the use case analysis so what happens in use case analysis it is a technique that describes the fun functionality that user expects from the system a user is there, there is a system here, the user is expecting something from the system, we are analyzing the whole stuff that is called as use case analysis and it's an essentially a, a narrative requiring the two things, events and actions and actors. The action which is happening and the actor who is doing the uh, thing also known as external agent using the system to complete a process. Okay, And the use cases have two or more parties, the agents who interact and the system itself. Now we'll be seeing how the library uh, need case uh, diagram will be looking like. In our library system, we don't expect the user to directly interact with the system you will be having some internal agencies in between like the library staff who will deliver the services to them to initiate the process we get a feel for how the system will interact with the end user okay we get a feel for how the system will interact with the end user so uh, for that uh, the following kinds of uh, things are there like this uh, the whole system consists of this menu of operations and the user will be able to select uh, from that okay it's very simple you don't have to put too much stress on your brain add a member add a book issue a book return book like you just observe what happens in the library remove a book place hold on a book remove a hold process hold renew book whenever you go to library you always see these kinds of things happening print out a member's transaction store the data retrieve the data and exit just go through it once you'll get to know what are these points and you have to make a diagram like this the user will be able to handle these stuffs now we'll be seeing how to handle uh, or register a new user for the registration of the new user you have to draw two columns in the first column you'll write actions performed and second you'll be writing the responses of, from the system the customer fills out an application and the clerk issues the request to add a new uh, member someone wants to get registered as a, a user of the library so they will be applying an application form and the clerk they will be assigning a new uh, member uh, request and the system uh, will ask for the data about the new member obviously if you are making a new user you need to have the data of the new user right and the clerk enters the data into the system now the system has the data now what will happen it reads the data adds the phone numbers and all the other stuffs and informs the check if the member was already there or if he is a new member and what all is invalid valid everything will be clarified and everything will be done after that an identification number will be generated which the clerk will give back to the uh, user okay so there will be a new register user okay like very simple process fill a form get uh, registered enter your data if it will be verified you will get a registration number so for more information you can go through these steps in these steps they are mentioned all these things what is given what the clerk will do and what the system will do that's all make sure the like button subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one